Good morning, guys. Good morning. Hope your morning has started off good. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful morning for a little while, but we got rain coming. It's already been raining. You can kind of see the on the grass. The grass is really wet, and uh, this little less tan ranger is a uh, <laughs> full of water in the back. I was going to empty it out, and I thought, well, what the heck, in a few hours it's going to be raining again. I'll just wait till the rain is out of here. But anyway, enough of the weather forecast. I've got this 75C10 truck out here, uh, Sky, in the front yard here. And my friend, uh, GM1038 on YouTube, uh, check out his channel, please. GM1038, he posted a video. I don't know when you're seeing this video, but... He uh, posted a video talking about patina trucks, and I think you would really enjoy it, and why GM Tim, uh, his name is Brian, why Tim Dixon, and Brian, and myself, and of course Mrs. P.I.B., we just love patina style trucks, and he said exactly in the video what, what I've always tried to say, but he done it so, so much better. Anyway, case in point, patina style. Anyway, check out his channel, GM1038. Uh, I was just going to show you one more time uh, what the floor of this truck looked like. Uh, Tim Dixon done all the welding, uh, putting new floors and stuff in. He made all these ridges and everything. I mean, made the floor uh, stout. That's what the ridges are for. And uh, I was over at Tim's the other day, and he was talking about, I was talking about, uh, left turn bill and he said left turn bill is not <laughs> not nearly nearly as bad as this 75 c10 truck is sky left turn bill is a 84 c10 but uh as you can see the floor is solid there's no rust i mean it's got a few places where i had a rubber mat that's kind of stuck to it there a little bit but i mean all that stuff's just anyway i got i got my new carpet here and GM Tim, uh, Brian, I'm, I'm going to call him Brian, okay? GM Tim 38 is Brian. I know y'all get tired of me saying that, and uh, I don't mean to repeat myself so often. Uh, anyway, he's going to help me put this carpet in this truck. I, kn I know y'all's thinking, well, why don't you do it yourself? Why don't you do it yourself? Well, I've never put in carpet before, and I don't know how y'all are, but carpet is expensive. And I got this carpet... Uh, late last year and uh see seem like i got anyway i got this carpet late last year see how i get sidetracked it's early in the morning for me haven't had enough coffee but uh so i've got it stretched out here we're gonna do the best we can on it brian has put carpet in lots of times and i have not i do not want to mess this carpet up because i can't afford to get more carpet at this time i need to buy a battery for this truck and you know, little things, everything's gone up except my wages. I, I don't know if y'all can, I'm sure most of y'all can relate to that, but that's how it is here in, at my home. So I thought, well, I'm, I'd rather have somebody that knows what they're doing as, as me try to figure it out myself and make cuts and stuff like that. And I don't even know if you have to, Brian said you have to do some trimming too. See, I, I'm not, I don't know. I've never done it before. I put rubber mats in before. But they've always been used, used rubber mats out of trucks at the junkyard, and they pretty much fit anyway. I mean, all I had to do was slap it in and put the door sills on. And speaking of door sills, oh yeah. See, I'm not awake this morning, guys. I've got to take the screws out. I was trying to have everything ready so Brian wouldn't have to stay no longer than he has to. I've got some new one, I've got some new door sills, but I have misplaced them. But I will find them, and when I do, I'll put them in this truck. But for the time being, these will have to do. I was going to dig some of this stuff out yesterday, but it was raining, and I just didn't want to go out in the garage and start looking for stuff. So, But, I mean, that's no big deal. So, uh, yeah, we're uh, getting ready to put carpet in. So I, I just want to look at it one more time. It's a pretty solid old truck now i mean it's not perfect it's no just an old truck and uh 
I've been waiting for this day for a long time, and I'm I'm proud that Brian has taken a moment out of his uh, weekend to come over here and help me for just uh, hopefully just a few minutes, and I won't keep him very long. So, but yeah, uh, check out that video he put up yesterday. That was a golly, that's a good one. I, I I talked to him and I said that's exactly what I think. I I get to thinking these things. Once you put a once you put a name on them or something like this, when the sky, I get and 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 Sam, I get to thinking about well, what all, what all's been heard in the truck. You know, people's talked about the the times back then, like in '75. You know, we's kind of going through a, this country is kind of going through a dilemma itself with uh, our president uh, Richard Nixon. You know, it was kind of it's just a mess. Anyway, we wound up with uh, Gerald Ford, you know, and then Jimmy Carter years, and it's been one after another. So, uh, anyway, I'll hush. I'm talking too much. I'll see y'all in just a bit. I know this is kind of silly to y'all, but I just want to show you. I done, done a little update and reshot with the same color I used. Uh, rattle can painting. Uh, done the floors again just to make it look... The best I can, and uh, I'll show you the other side here. I, I've been having this little black floor mat in here, uh, in the in this truck. Just I don't know to somewhat make it look complete. I need to get me a blue one, I guess. And but at the time that was that was cheap and it's black, and I got it. So anyway, uh, here it is. Might be a little bit dusty in here, but that's okay. I was looking at this carpet right here. This piece it's not exactly the same well not by a long shot uh, this is a whole lot darker but this will be okay this is going to work it'll go along with the truck it doesn't have to be perfect and uh, you know I actually I don't want it to be perfect I want it to be I want it to be just like this and anyway I'm doing this kind of stuff so Sometimes I wind up selling C10s, and uh, about as I hate to, but sometimes it happens, and uh, I, I can't, I can't buy more C10s if I hang on to them. So if one of these days, which I'm not, I'm not anxious to sell anything. I'm pretty content. But uh, if one of these days somebody is seriously wanting to buy this truck, and you know, and they, and they, they see what Brian and Tim Dixon and I see about this truck, then, uh, you know, somebody might want to buy it. I, I'm pretty sure you could take this to a car show or a cruise in or what, whatever you want to do with it. I I don't go to things like that anymore. I, I used to do that all the time, and I guess I just got completely burnt out. And uh, so, I mean, I got enough to look at here at home. So anyway, any. Sorry, if somebody else one of these days wants to buy this truck, they always tell people to go back on my older videos and see exactly what you're getting. I would not mislead anybody. I mean, I know what I have, and I mean, either you agree with what I'm thinking it's worth or, or you don't. I mean, there, none of this stuff is cheap. Anyway, sorry about that. Let me hush, and I'll get back with you in a minute. Okay, here's with the seat out, and we found few little treasures we found 51 cents we found part of a fishing lure half of a custom deluxe emblem old carefree sugarless gum wrapper some kind of conoco scratch and win and somebody's to-do list chicken scratch okay we just vacuumed it out and there's new truck under there Okay, we're laying down Sound Deadner. 
I guess that's what you call it. We're putting in the package tray here in the back. We wound up sliding the cutting. Brian did. Brian's doing most of the brain work, just the work. So, if you're wondering, so he has cut the carpet and we slid the carpet under here so we didn't. See how nice this cardboard is? I mean, it's just super nice. And he said he was afraid that it would disintegrate once we start messing with it because it is 1975. And I had hair back in those days. That was a long dang time ago. Okay, so there's four bolts. One, two, three, and four. <coughs> okay. Trying to find all the bolt bolt holes. Looking good. Matches pretty well. So you've done trucks at Barrett Jackson? No, <laughs> never. <laughs> Had one of my neighbors come up, the <laughs> uh, police person, uh, real nice guy, and trying to aggravate us a little bit. But uh, <laughs> uh, Brian and my friend know one another, and of course Brian works in another county, but it's okay. They're all friends and. I just thought it was kind of funny to see the, see the police roll up. I guess we's making a lot of racket <laughs> working on this stuff here. So, <laughs> all in good fun. Guys, we're getting really close now to being done. Really close. Just a little bit more, I think, we'll be done. Uh, just thought I'd show you while we're taking a small station identification break. Uh, it's hard to get. Like Brian said, I'm so glad Brian came over here to help me because I don't think, I've never done carpet before, and I don't think I could have done it by myself. Honestly, I don't. He's done this several times on his old trucks, and and he's just, he just knows what he's doing. And I'd have been here, I told him, I said, I'd have been here three days trying to get everything to, to work out good. But it's just really... It's really good to, have, good to have a friend like Brian. I'll get it out here in just a minute. But Anyway, I think it's going to be good once I find... I've got these brand new somewhere in a box. I just got to go find them. When I do, I'll put them in and do a little bit more cleaning up in here. But what a world of difference just having new carpet. I mean, it kind of looks, looks a little bit more complete. And uh, like I said, I'm not... I'm not going to do nothing with the seat. This stuff right here doesn't bother me. It's just it's just part of the character of the truck. And the dash is not the worst I've ever had by any stretch. So it's all good. I mean, I'm just... But, the you know, there wasn't no carpet. You had to yank all that out in order for Tim to put in new floor pans. So see y'all in a bit. You have the seat all the way back. Can you reach the pedals? <laughs> yes, I can reach the panels. <laughs> That's as far back as it'll go, and I can reach the panels. <laughs> and here's Vanna White from Prices, right? Oh, Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> Ta da! Oh my, what a difference! What a difference! The moment we've waited for. Yeah. It looks great. Oh my goodness, it looks looks a lot more uh, complete, doesn't it? I'm really proud and I want to thank uh, GM Tim 38 Brian for helping me. Honestly, guys, I, I know it sounds like a simple job until you start doing it. In, a, in my head, I thought I could do it, but he knew so many tricks and shortcuts. And I've got to spray that gas pedal where I sprayed the floor again just trying to make this truck the best I can and Brian had forgot how much metal work this old truck's had and he even mentioned that that we saved its life because he said it was pretty bad old truck so trash
thanks is is a pretty rough old old truck and to some it still is but well it still is but i mean it's rough but boy it's a good good old truck and uh i appreciate y'all watching what little bit we videoed putting the carpet and stuff in uh like brian said brian was going for perfection and i was just kind of that's good enough you know because i said it's it's not going to barrett jackson it's not going to make them auction just just to know rough old truck oh yeah you found something hey brian forgot his here's some more stuff that we found under the seat a big red cinnamon gum and uh look at this old mcdonald's straw uh paper wrapper, wrapper yeah that's old i haven't seen one of those that's probably from the 70s or 80s wouldn't you think been under that seat the whole time so you never know what's under somebody's seats on old cars and old trucks i used to like to go to the junkyards and just pull the back seats out and stuff and see if you can find any change or just whatever just kind of like a treasure hunt so to speak back when i was really young anyway i appreciate y'all watching the watching the video and uh i hope that you will come back again to primer this best and watch some more videos that, uh B brian and myself and tim dixon and Corey and Waylon, we're all just really really good friends and charlie i mean we're just just really good friends and when you need some help you know it they're they're there to help you so we all have the same ideas about patina trucks and uh i don't know we all just share the same passion for cars and trucks like this so if you like I said, if you get an opportunity, I, I think I mentioned this earlier. This has been, what I'm saying now has been like two and a half hours later. So I don't know what I said five minutes ago. But anyway, if you get a chance to check out GM1038 on YouTube. And he's talking about patina trucks and the stories behind them. And uh, he said everything I've been trying to say in my videos. But he said it so much better. And I told him, I said, you've done a great job <laughs> telling people exactly what i've been trying to say this whole this whole time so if you get a chance to watch it i'd appreciate gm tim 38 don't forget tim dixon at gas axe chop shop he is on facebook gas axe chop shop and axe is spelled a-x-e and i was talking to tim the other day when he was working on left turn bill and he said there's like two or three different gas axe chop shops uh i guess on facebook i hadn't it gas axe gas axe yeah so it's that's why i keep spelling axe a x e because there's different ways to spell axe and stuff and if you don't spell it correctly then uh you're in the wrong location and not talking you won't be listening or watching tim dixon the guy that is my friend so anyway it's been a long day guys and i've only had one cup of coffee today and i guess you can probably tell it so I'm not really talking real plain. But anyway, y'all have a blessed day. Thanks for watching the video. It means a lot. And, uh... You actually should be forbidden to do any videos without your quota. <laughs> Did you hear what she said? Anyway, I shouldn't be doing... In case you didn't hear, I shouldn't be doing videos unless I've had my quota of coffee. I drank four or five cups in the morning and I have been out of sync all morning, haven't I? <laughs> anyway, he asked Brian if he could do, if he needed to do the uh, installation of the carpet on the carpet, and he meant concrete. Yeah, I meant. <laughs> I thought, oh no, it's going. Into uh, the and house. if she <laughs> if she hadn't mentioned that, I would have I would have never known. But I, I did. I said, do you want me to pull it out here on the carpet? So, uh, oh my goodness, one of those days, and I, I'm I guess I'm addicted to coffee, addicted to her, and addicted to the lord most of all so thanks for watching you're watching primer is best i hope you enjoyed the video like i said i'm on instagram primer is best and <laughs> she's a big help facebook primer is best i've got a second youtube channel called man on a budget yeah and i'm on instagram <laughs> 
Man on a budget one. Boy, she's a big like fan, isn't it? <laughs> she's a big fan. Oh boy. <laughs> Y'all have a blessed day. It's gonna be a pretty day. It's supposed to be raining here shortly. It feels like it should, as humid as it is. I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'll see y'all later.